Hi everybody, welcome to the blessed place. It's Friday and it's my day off. So I'm going to chronicle my day off and take you all along with me. No, I won't be driving. I'll be filming in between. No more DWR. Okay, so I'm standing here as I came into the world, like Adam and Eve before they ate the fruit. So that's why I'm looking all... Okay, you guys, I'm dressed and ready to go. That didn't take long, did it? All right, I'll get back with y'all when I reach my destination. Remember, no DWR. Okay, y'all, I'm at my first stop. And I'm at a, an auction. I'm previewing some stuff for an auction that's going to be tomorrow on Saturday. Someone told me about this. I've never in my life been to an auction. But there is some awesome stuff in here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Now I'm back and I'm done at the auction. I'm about to leave the auction. And um, it was just really enlightening. It was beautiful, beautiful stuff. But like I said, I didn't want to you know get their stuff on camera and think them think I was doing anything underhanded but I met this really nice guy came up to me and um, he was explaining to me the auction and explaining to me about I mean he was just a customer and he's telling me that he had bought many items there and just telling me how uh, how the auction procedure went and how good the quality asked them y'all I came out of my comfort zone this is just not me I came out of my comfort zone and asked this man if I could get him on camera and YouTube him. And he said he'd rather remain anonymous. Hey, and that's cool. I definitely understand that. But I was just so amazed at the power of YouTube that it will pull me, me, out of my comfort zone. So, um, that just reminds you that there are still really, really good people in this world. You know, and everybody's not divided uh, by gender and race. To I'm hungry, y'all. It's what? It's 3:17 p.m. Okay, y'all. My man is calling me, so we're gonna get him on um, voice and see what he's saying. And yes, I pulled over, y'all. I pulled over to answer this phone call. Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm good. How you doing? No, I called her to see if she wanted to hang out, but she didn't answer the phone. And when I spoke to Danica, Danica said she was out and about getting her hair done and she was going to be coming over to uh, my grandma's house. Okay, then. You went to the auction thing? Yes, I went to the auction and checked it out. Some really, really nice stuff. I mean, I saw a beautiful bedroom set. King size. Yeah, beautiful. I, I saw all kinds of things. So, the auction is actually tomorrow at uh, 11 a.m. So, probably go check it out tomorrow. Alright. What you up to? What you doing? I'm on the road. Just left the auction and uh, headed to Red Lobster and probably the Avenue. Hey, did you get a chance to check on Cheryl? Yeah, I talked to her the other day, and she said that she was cool, she said everything was good. So, um, yeah, we've been talking, she's she's good, she's she's blessed. Why well, you didn't ask her to go to Red Lobster, were you? Oh yeah, I did ask her if she wanted to hang out there and go to um, lunch, but she's working overtime. She said she would have loved to, but, you know, Cheryl's making that money. Yeah, I heard about that. So how you doing? What you been up to? Just stay on the track home. Looking at slow ground on a on a load of Oh, okay. Alright. Check it going. I love you. I love you too, baby. You be blessed. Be careful out there. Careful. Y'all, he's a good man. Alright. Gonna get back on the road and go get me some food. Okay, y'all. I haven't made it to Red Lobster yet. I decided to go by one of my favorite stores first. 
because if I go to Red Lobster and I get full and sleepy, and people probably passing by wondering why in the world I'm taping. But if you see somebody taping these days, you gotta know it's for YouTube. Okay. Favorite store. Y'all see that? The Avenue Plus. Cause I'm a plus girl. Hey, I'm in the dressing room and I don't think y'all ever seen full view of me, so I'm gonna point this towards the mirror and get a full view. Okay y'all, $300 and about 30-45 minutes later, I'm done shopping, there are my packages, and now I'm going to eat, I'm really going to eat, I don't know, it's 4 or 5 o'clock, I'm starving, oh yes, yeah. and don't tell my man that I bought anything, he's out working while I'm shopping, oh yeah, and while I was in, just a quick side note, while I was in the store in the avenue, my mom called, she wanted to know if she could have this grill, that I have at home that she knows that I never ever use I think I've used it once and she wanted to know because she have it since I don't cook and I don't use it and I kept telling her mom I'm at the register I'll call you back I'm shopping I'm at the register I'll call you back because that is another one of my pet peeves that I hate when people do business while on the cell phone I, I that is just that is just not good you know I'm, I, I paid attention to a woman who walked in the store on her cell phone she looked around and shopped while on her cell phone. Then she made her purchase while on her cell phone. And I just saw her putting her packages in her vehicle, getting into her car, still on that. So, of course, that's just my own personal pet peeve. So, I had to hang up on my mother, y'all, so that she could hang up because she wanted to talk while I'm trying to make my purchase. Hey, y'all, I'm back in my vehicle, and I am so full. Oh, my goodness, I'm full. But I didn't eat it all. I tried to eat it all because I really don't like carry out. I mean, I don't like being bothered with carry out. And I really don't care to reheat my food. But y'all know I wasn't leaving my food on that plate. No, I was not. So I got me some carry out, a little something something for later on, a little snacky snack. And I got me something that I hardly, I rarely ever get. I got me some dessert. I mean, I may order dessert once or twice out of a hundred, but even though I'm full today, I got me a cheesecake to go, because cheesecake is one of, if not my most favorite dessert, cheesecake is one of my most favorite desserts, and today was just a cheesecake dessert kind of day. I mean, I'm feeling good from my head to my toes, I'm feeling cute, I'm feeling sexy, and it's just one of those dessert, cheesecake dessert kind of days, so I got it to go. I might eat it later tonight, or more than likely I eat it in the morning. If I eat stuff late at night, especially sweets, I get acid reflux. So, more than likely it'll be my breakfast. So, since I don't feel the itis that I talked about a little earlier, I'm going to hit the road and go visit my mom and my sisters. They will be surprised. So, I'm going to visit the hill. Okay, y'all. I made it to my grandma's house. That's my grandma. Isn't she beautiful? Say hi to the people, my Rosa. That's my Rosa. <laughs> and this is D Hill, Danica. So, I, I thought maybe I'd catch my mom, but she's gone. So, so I'm going to visit with them. Hey, man. Gonna visit with them a little bit, and I'll get back with y'all. Is that you want to say? Hello. <laughs> See you in YouTube land. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> y'all, it's 7:10. Um, Friday night, and I'm leaving my grandma's house. I don't know if you can see that. It's dark. Hey, y'all. This is so so blessed, and I've made it back home, and I'm just sitting here in my living room, recuperating from the day, uh, enjoying being back at home, and just thanking God for His traveling mercy and how He protected me over those dangerous, dangerous highways, because you know it's some crazy people driving out there. And y'all know somebody went out today, got into their vehicle, expecting to reach their destination or expecting to return home, and they didn't return home. So I give all praise to God that he protected me today, gave, gave me a wonderful, wonderful day, and brought me back home safely. I thank y'all for joining me, for being with me. I really, really enjoyed this day.